If there is a stray cat hanging around your home or work, you may want to know what you can do to help. It is important to help the cat. Contrary to popular belief, cats cannot live well on their own outside. They are domesticated animals. If left on their own, they will likely succumb to an early death from disease, starvation, or injury. But by following these five steps and practicing patience, you can gain a stray cat's trust and possibly save its life. Your first priority should be giving the cat access to food and water. The best way to gain a cat's trust is to give them food. They say, if you feed a stray, it will stay. But this is only true because it is hungry and you are finally giving it what it needs. Cats depend on humans for care, and even stray cats need food, water, and shelter. Firstly, start with a bowl of dry food. Leave it out and step far away. Wait quietly. If the cat is hungry, he or she will tentatively come forward and eat. When you are feeding the cat for the first time, don't try to move in closer. Letting the cat know that it has access to food or water without threat is the first step to having it trust you. If the cat is not in imminent danger, then continue to offer food every day to build trust. While you may feel silly doing it, talking to the cat is important. Talk to the animal quietly and calmly without approaching. You may want to do this while sitting at a distance from the cat or while he or she is eating. As the cat realizes that you are not a threat, it will get more comfortable with you being closer. So try to take fewer steps back with each feeding. Allow the cat to approach you. If the cat has been timid, don't try to reach out and pet it. Allow the cat to come to you. Eventually, the cat may allow you to pet or even pick it up. But it is important, again, not to move too quickly. When gaining a stray cat's trust and affection, it is sometimes two steps forward, two steps back. A cat working to trust you may eventually come and rub your legs or sit near you, but just out of reach. Don't try to force the relationship. It will develop over time. Whether the cat is going to live outdoors or you plan to take it inside, preferable, it needs to get to a vet for examination, vaccinations, and spaying or neutering. It can also be checked for a microchip to see if it is someone's lost pet. If the cat has been outdoors, it may have been exposed to a host of diseases. The vet can test for communicable diseases such as FLVS and FIV. The cat also needs to get vaccinations, such as rabies and distemper. Whether the cat is going to live indoors or out, it needs to be spayed or neutered. Even an indoor cat can slip outside and reproduce. Countless numbers of cats are euthanized each year simply because there are more cats that need homes than people willing to take them in. Spaying or neutering will also reduce the cat's tendency to roam and fight, ultimately keeping it safer. Sometimes you may need to capture a stray cat sooner than it is ready. If it is very hungry, you may be able to get a large cat carrier and place food in the back of the carrier. This method works very well for younger cats, especially. Once the cat goes in the carrier, you can quickly shut and lock the door. Note. Once the cat has been caught, he or she needs to be transported to the vet as soon as possible. Do. Talk quietly to the cat. Don't. Try to approach a cat that is hissing or angry. Do. Offer canned food. Don't. Leave food out overnight. Do. Immediately take to vet if captured. Don't. Leave stray cats to fend for themselves. Remember to be patient. Stray cats take time to adjust to those who are trying to help them. They aren't used to people, and any defensive behavior stems from fear. With patience, you can gain the cat's trust and even affection. If you want to continue learning about cat knowledge, don't miss the playlist we share here. If you're thinking of adopting a cat, share your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you next time.